Fashionista, welcome to Encoder Fashion. I'm Rose. Today, I want to share with you six important tools in Adobe Illustrator for fashion designs. How to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. We are at the Adobe Workspace. To the left hand side here, the toolbar where the pen tool located. So, I'll click on the pen tool. And for this example, I'm going to show you how to draw a straight line as well as the triangular shape. So to draw a straight line, begin by click from point A to point B. Make sure to press escape or enter okay, to stop the path. And we call this as an open path. Now, I'm going to show you how to draw a triangular shape with the pen tool. Again, since the pen tool is still active, if happened somehow the pen tool is not active, you just come back here to the left hand side again, click on the pen tool. And now, begin by clicking from point A to point B, then to point C. And back over here, you see the tiny circle appear? that when you click on it, it closes the path. That's why we call this a closed path. And when you draw a closed path with the pen tool, you do not need to press escape nor enter, okay? And that how you use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator CC 2019. How to use the anchor point tool. We are at Adobe Illustrator workspace. To the left hand side here, we have toolbars and the anchor point tool is located behind this pen tool, okay? When you click on the pen tool, you will see this panel open. You click on this tiny one right here, tiny arrow. We want to undock this panel and here the anchor point tool. So we use the anchor point tool to curve any shape. For this example, I'm going to change the V neck shape to the U neck shape. Again, click on the anchor point tool. And then here, when you have over the path, you will see this point appear. With this anchor point tool active, you click on it and then drag it to the right, okay? When you drag it to the right, now, the shape shift from the V shape to the U shape. And that how you use the anchor point tool in Adobe Illustrator, how to use the selection tool. Again, we are at the Adobe Illustrator workspace. To the left hand side here is a toolbar. And right over here to the tippy top here is the selection tool. We also call it a black arrow tool. We use the selection tool to move the objects around in the Adobe Illustrator as well as changing the size of the object. So let me show you. Again, come here, click on the selection tool, and then you click on the object. You see all these uh, points right here appear? That mean that object is selected, okay? Now you can move to left, move down, move up, however you like. Then, I also want to show you to use the selection tool to change the size. I'm gonna just drag right here and then shift it in. And I'm gonna turn it to like kind of square shape, okay? And when you click your arrow away, now the object deselected. So that is how you use the selection tool in Adobe Illustrator CC 2019. How to use the reflect tool we are at the Adobe Illustrator workspace and I went ahead and drew half of the heart so I can demonstrate how to reflect this half of the heart and turn it to a full heart, okay? So the reflex tool located to the left hand side of the Adobe Illustrator workspace which is in this toolbar here. By default, it's the reflect tool is high under the rotate tool. So click on the tool. Make sure you select the objects first before the reflect tool is working, okay? So again, go to select tool, select the object, and then come back for the reflect tool. Or you use a shortcut 
letter O, that for reflector. This is a trick, guy. You hold down all and press on the center line. You want to reflect exactly the opposite side and lay right in the middle, okay? So make sure it's a vertical, 90 degree, and I like to leave the preview mode on. You see, when I uh, have the preview mode on, you can see this, how the heart flip exactly in the middle, okay? And then you click copy. All right. So after we reflect, we almost always right click and join because two objects, if we don't join them. So we're gonna join by select both of the objects and then right click and join. And that how you use the reflect tool in Adobe Illustrator CC. How to use the add anchor point tool. We are at an Adobe Illustrator workspace and the Add Anchor Point tool is located to the left hand side of the Adobe Illustrator workspace in the toolbar high behind this Anchor Point tool. Usually by default is under Pen Tool. If you see the Pen Tool, you click on it and then you will see Add Anchor Point tool, the Lead Anchor Point tool, and Anchor Point tool. I like to bring my tool panel out here so I'm gonna just click this tiny arrow right here and then I'm gonna bring it out here like this okay so we use add anchor point tool to add the point on the line exactly like what it said so you add this point here however many point you want to add okay so I'm gonna add one two I'm gonna add three point here and after you add the point you use the direct selection tool right here to Click on that point and then you can drag the point down or you can drag it up or drag it right or drag it less and that's what we use the add anchor point tool for to add the point on the line so we can manipulate the line or the object and that's how you use the add anchor point tool in Adobe Illustrator CC 2019 how to use the direct selection tool so we are at the Adobe Illustrator workspace right here to the left hand side here is the direct selection tool click on it and we use the direct selection tool to move an anchor point as well as to move the path. For this example, I'm gonna show you how to manipulate this sleeve right here. So I'm gonna click on this path and drag just like that from a short sleeve to a long sleeve, okay? Another thing is I want the top of the sleeve longer than the bottom of the sleeve. Again, the Direct selection tool is still active. You're gonna hover over this top anchor point here and drag it down. See? Now you can actually manipulate an anchor point tool as well as the pass. And that how you use the direct selection tool in Adobe Illustrator CC 2019. If you think this video is useful, please click on the like and subscribe button below for more useful contents. Thanks for watching Design Easter, I'm Rose, and you can't design anything.